Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and we are coming at you today with a video on what to do if you have a NVR or DVR. It could be a new machine or existing machine and you want to add hard drive for it. If it's an existing machine, it may have been shipped with one terabyte or two terabytes of hard drive. But as you've added cameras, you've probably seen you're only getting two or three days worth of archived video on the hard drive before it overwrites. And that's really no good. Also with machines, when you order them from Hikvision or Dawa, whoever the manufacturer is in which you order the recorder, sometimes they'll have no availability, uh, no machines with hard drives installed. So they're going to ship you a machine without a hard drive and you're going to have to install the SATA hard drive yourself. It's a very simple process. We're going to cover it right now. So let's get into it. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Please click that so you will be notified when we upload future content. Also like the video if it's useful to you. And as always, leave comments. A lot of these videos are based on subscriber questions and comments. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the cover of the NVR. On the back of this recorder, there are two screws. We're just going to use a drill bit uh, or a drill driver um, with a Phillips set bit on it. And we're going to remove those two screws and we're going to remove the top of this machine. Okay. Once you remove those screws, you will see these machines kind of have this again as a dowel. But it has two grooves right here for your hands. You're just going to push this back, okay? And when you do so, the cover will come off, okay? And once you remove the cover, you will see inside there already are cables set up for your various SATA hard drives. There is room for four of them to mount on this rack. We're going to switch the view of the camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing more closely. And we're going to install all four of these six terabyte hard drives in this this machine it will have 24 terabytes of hard drive when we're done all right we have rearranged the camera so hopefully you have a bird's eye view um, to the assembly process of these hard drives uh, but the cover is obviously removed you will see inside of the nvr dvr um, that you have several sata cables okay sata cables are serial advanced technology attachment cables okay there are two for each hard drive um, one is small the other is large hopefully you can see the difference in the size there okay um, the small one is actually for data and the larger one here is for power okay so you'll have a power and a data cable for each of the hard drives okay what we have for hard drives we have for each six terabyte Seagate Skyhawk surveillance drives okay we like to use these or the Western Digital WD purple uh, surveillance drives uh, for our installations these drives are made uh, for surveillance so they last longer and they record uh, a better quality picture okay so when we look at these drives, we will see um, there are slots um, for the power here and also for the data here, okay, for those cables to plug in. Before they can plug in, we need to mount them, okay. This is a mounting bracket that is already kind of bent from the manufacturer, um, which is okay. But we want to mount these guys. If you look on the bottom side, so this is the top side of the hard drive where the label will be. On the back side of the SATA desktop hard drive, you will see four screws. Those need to be facing up, okay? Because these need to line up with the screws on this mounting bracket. You'll also want the plugs for your SATA cables to be facing the board, okay? So what it should look like, this should be installed just like so right here right make sure your holes line up perfect so what we're going to do is we're going to get our drill driver 
There are in your hardware box that comes with the NVR or DVR uh, a number of accessories. There are mounting brackets for a IT rack, an Ethernet cable to plug your uh, NVR or DVR into your network. You'll see a power cord. Um, in this box is where these screws came from. Okay. The hard drive screws are little silver screws, just like so. Hopefully you can see those. And they're gonna plug or screw into those holes that I showed you on the bottom of the hard drive. So we're gonna hold these into place. Just like so. And I'm gonna get my drill. And we're going to screw these hard drives into place, okay? Again, you want to get all the hard drives into place before you attach the cable. And I always do the screws diagonally, okay? There are four screws for each hard drive. Do not be a clown and only use one or two of the screws. In fact, I've seen these zip tied to the bracket. I've seen them inside of the uh, NVR, not secured at all, just bumping the board going back and forth. Uh, two things, that's going to damage the board of the hard drive or the SATA cables, but it's also going to be noisy when the machine runs. So take the time, it only takes a second to do it right. Put in all four screws for each hard drive. It is not that difficult. If you don't do that, maybe it is difficult, right? Obviously, you want to be careful when you do this. There are some ribbon cables um, in the motherboard. You don't want to be um, hard with these things. You want to take your time, and you don't want to damage any of those cables because it will affect the performance of your NVR. Um, these guys are pretty expensive. So right here, you see there's a cable. I'm just going to move this stuff. It'll be nice and gentle here. Put it on top of the ribbon. Make sure when you use your drill driver, um, you don't need a lot of torque, you can turn it down. Most of these guys have torque adjusters, but you don't want to rip the screws. You don't want to tear them. Um, so if you're not using a screwdriver, if you're using a driver like me, make sure it's on low torque. Right? And you don't want to damage these hard drives. Okay. And we'll put the last one on. Be very careful here. There are a lot of cables in there. You want to be gentle. And with our screws. All right, I'm missing a couple of these silver screws. There they are. I didn't get them all. Okay, so those are all mounted securely now. Um, we've got all the screws in, so when it's running, there's not going to be a lot of rattling and noise. Um, now we want to deal with these SATA cables. If your machine does not have these, which it should, either in the NVR or when you remove the cover, 
or in your hardware box. Um, if you do not have cables, there is a link below uh, for these NVR SATA cables. These are just desktop 3.5 SATA hard drives, okay? They're designed for surveillance, okay? We already talked about um, WD Purple and such. Um, but, but it's the same thing as a desktop computer battery. Not a laptop now, but a desktop. So these two cables, um, we already talked about the grooves in them. They're kind of L-shaped. Um, the same is true for these. You can see the L comes up here. So what I want to do is I want to take this plug the far one on the cable and I want to plug this in here just like so okay then I can take the second one here find my L plug this in just like so okay you want to make sure that you for the power cables that you use the end one for the furthest hard drive okay just like we did here so we'll plug this in here. Whoops. Make sure we have our L on the right side. We don't want to break anything. It didn't sound good, but we didn't break anything. All right. Now last L. And all of the power cables are on. Now the data cables, um, same thing. We just find our L, push it in. Find our L, push it in. down rookie mistake now when you put on these uh, data cables okay there's a clip here these clips will always go on the bottom so that will help you with your L's okay so now everything is secure we'll make sure that uh, they're connected here and everything is tight yep okay so now all that's left to do is to put the cover back on we'll grab that Remember, these grooves or handles go to the rear of the NVR. Okay. This will just kind of slide forward like so. That one didn't. Slide forward just like so. Those black screws that we took out earlier. Are right here. We're going to put those back in. Again, depending on the model, uh, there may be more screws, there may be some on the side, there may be another one on the top. Um, you want to make sure you put those all back. All right. We want to do a professional. If we take screws out, we want to put them back in. Uh, if we were installing this, of course it has the power cord that you plug in right here. The internet cord to plug into your modem or router um, would plug into your ethernet port. You'll see there are 16 other, actually 24 on this machine. There are 24 individual Ethernet plugs. These are PoE ports, okay, as you can see there. The cameras, if you are installing DAWA cameras, can all be home run wired to these ports, and the NVR will auto configure the cameras, okay? So you don't want to plug your LAN or your live internet from your modem, router, firewall. Uh, into one of these PoE switches. You want to plug them into the Ethernet port there. There are also two HDMI outputs on this machine and a, uh, you know, a USB plug for your mouse. All right, that concludes it. This NVR is ready to go with plenty of storage. We hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the field.